Andrew and welcome to the tutorial on how to use the Jupyter Notebook in the 21 day data challenge. You can see on the screen, we are presented with a built in Jupyter IDE. This will be the very first thing that you will see when opening up a new challenge. What is an IDE? An IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment, and this is where we'll be doing our coding. The one we're using is called Jupyter and is a dedicated Python IDE designed and used by data analysts and data scientists when working with data. What makes Jupyter Notebook so great is the ability to have separate code cells that can be executed in a modular way. For example, in our first line of code, well, our first cell of code, we can see there's a variable called lease with a bunch of text data associated to it. When executing this cell, this text data would then be saved to a lease in memory. In our second code cell, we have a print statement printing hello world. In our third code cell, seven plus seven plus seven, executing it should result with an output of 21. There are two ways to execute our code. The first method requires a user to press shift enter on the keyboard. However, before we do that, let's make sure we are on the right cell. We know we're on the right cell when we see on the left hand side, a banner uh, associated to the cell that we want to run. This banner will move around in the various cells that we click our cursor to. So let's make sure we're on the right cell that we want to run the very first one and press shift enter. After running our first cell, the Jupyter notebook will then jump to the next cell. This tells us that the previous cell has been successfully executed and we can verify this by an updated number on the left hand side of our previously run cell. This number represents the last order position that this cell successfully ran. Let's run our next few lines of code. We can see with the second and third cell, it outputted uh, the print statement and also outputted the number uh, 21 from seven plus seven plus seven. Alternatively, we can click run program on our top left-hand side of our Jupyter notebook, and this will run all the cells in our Jupyter notebook. To create new cells, we can click on an empty cell or the last cell and press shift enter a few times. Alternatively, we can double click on the associated cell until the banner turns blue and press B. To delete code cells, what we can do is click on the associated cell that we want to delete and press D on the keyboard twice. And that's all you need to know to get started with the Jupyter Notebook. Happy coding.